Hey, it's Kev with Blender Binge, back with another tutorial. This time, we're gonna be creating clouds in Eevee. Now, the only reason I'm doing this video is because I keep getting asked how I would do clouds in Eevee. That said, I'll go ahead and do a video because here's how I would kind of go about doing it and it's fast and it works and it's fun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and get rid of this principled BDSDF shader. I don't need them. I'm gonna replace him with a principled volume shader, volume to volume. And now let's just turn on EV so we could see it. And you see it's like dancing kind of thing. So let's turn that off by going over here to render settings, viewport and kill it. There, it stopped dancing. Now it's not annoying and it's fun. So what can I do now? Let's start breaking it up with density. Now, one of the fastest ways that I've seen people do this is they just go ahead and they add in a texture like noise and they take factor to density and it starts giving it a little bit of a breakup. I have Node Wrangler installed, so I hit Control T. If you don't have it, it's in the preferences. Just put it, turn it on and you get this. We can turn this to object over here to vector, start getting the little breakup, and then we control it with a ramp in here, right? So I throw in a color ramp, I take this down, and I start getting clouds. Now, this looks kind of iffy until you go over here to uh, volumetrics, and you take tile size down if your computer can handle it, or your graphics card handles it to two, and you can also turn on volumetric shadows. And now if you go in here, all right, you could start getting some interesting cloud shapes. So if I turn up the detail on the noise, it gives this little like, you know, uh, the, the breakup on the edges of clouds, play with the scale a bit. And that's a nice quick and dirty cloud texture and it works. However, we do have the issue of, you know, this thing is boxed and it's all boxed in and it's, it's okay looking, but we can do better. So we can take this, I'll pull this out, I'll pull this out and I'll pull, pull this out. And what I'll do here is I'll add in a multiply because I don't like going color to density. That to me just doesn't, doesn't cut it. And I know people have already left the video and probably given me a thumbs down because I did that, whatever. You didn't stick around, so you lose. So let's go and plug something in here. I'll go to math node, change this to multiply, throw this on the bottom, still getting that nice breakup. And now what I can do is I can go ahead and add in a way to break it up and get rid of all this like flatness here. So I'll duplicate this guy, throw this into value and don't worry, I'll, I'll do a converter over here. And we're still, we're getting nothing over here, right? So actually what I'll do is instead of this, I'm gonna do a mix RGB node. That'll be better. That'll allow us to actually multiply this stuff out. So I'll go to color, mix RGB there, throw that in. And while I'm here for the purists, let's just go ahead and uh, let's just throw in a RGB to black and white, RGB to black and white there. Now, now, the, now the values are all correct and everything's mapped rightly. Okay, so let's add this color to color over here. And I'll take this guy and put them in here. Let's pull this out so we can see this. So now I have this mix and I can say multiply and you see nothing and that's fine. Okay, we start seeing this, it's good. Do a noise, factor. And then I can take the vector here and plug it in here. And lastly here, what we can do is add in a way to just multiply out the Z. So I can just go in here, go to converter, separate X, Y, Z. And this is just gonna be controlled on the Z and that'll start breaking that out. So now when I flip this, when I take this up, you can see that I'm getting cloud banks, but it's not completely flat on the top, okay? It's getting some nice, nice kind of breakup up here. So now to get clouds, I can just flatten this down, find a decent camera angle. So I'll go to cameras. Okay, I'll just turn this stuff on. And I'll just zoom in and find a decent camera angle. And we start getting something that looks like clouds, right? And now I can control the scale down here. And I take the scale down. We start getting some nice, nice cloud banks. And you can keep dropping new stuff in here. You can control the scale. 
can take it down and if I go ahead and change to say like the sky all right you can start controlling the different looks and textures and feel of, of these different clouds so when you go ahead and you and you really start playing with this you get a scene like this and all I did for that is similar setup okay same setup I just showed you all right just played with the values a little bit and if I go over here now and I show you what this is I just duplicated a bunch of these all over the place and actually they're all believe it or not right here they're all the same the same shader you could go ahead copy this shader to new new shaders new materials and apply them and do different uh, different cloud variations and all I did was just change the color so I added a little color ramp up here and it's not even a color it's just black and white into color and I changed the point light I changed the color on the point light and stuck them back here and then I've upped the bloom and it just gives me this really nice effect so if I hit play and I go through I'm kind of flying through the clouds okay so when I render it out you can see there's still some banding going on and that's unfortunately right now that's still EV it's still happening but if you want quick and dirty clouds this is a pretty good way to do it at least this tutorial gets you like 60% of the way there the rest is playing and honestly like everyone is still playing with this right now so have at it, have fun, welcome to the world. And now you can go and like watch Curtis's stuff and it'll make more sense to you. And you can watch, you know, what, what uh, Gleb's doing and what, what all these other guys are doing, Scantron 5000. Uh, they're all doing some really good work. So go check those guys out. I'll link to some of them in the description. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.